Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will learn how to carry out a test of hypotheses for the slope of the regression line, calculate a confidence interval for the slope of the regression line, and compare the results of the test and confidence interval. The following regression output is for predicting annual murders per million from percentage living in poverty in a random sample of 20 metropolitan areas. A. What are the hypotheses for evaluating whether poverty percentage is a significant linear predictor of murder rate? So when thinking about what our null hypothesis should be, um, thinking about linear, our linear model is y hat equals b0 plus b1x. So we can think about the fact that if this term were 0, this term would disappear, and we would see that x is not helpful at all in estimating y. So when we say this term, we don't mean the number b1, because the number b1 is 2.559 in this case. So we're not hypothesizing that b1 equals 0. We know what b1 equals. But we're hypothesizing what the true slope is. That is the slope for all pairs of points, not just these 20 randomly sampled pairs. So our null hypothesis then is that beta 1, the true slope, equals 0. That is that the percent in poverty is not a significant linear predictor of murder rate. The alternate hypothesis is that B1 is not equal to 0, that the percent in poverty is a significant linear predictor of murder rate. In this problem, it didn't say that we have a hypothesis that it's positive or negative, so we're using a two-sided alternate hypothesis, not equal to. Part B, state the conclusion of the test from Part A in context of the data. First, we should, of course, verify that conditions are met for this uh, test. So we would want the residual plot to have no pattern. So we would want to look at a residual plot and verify that it has no pattern. Also, we don't have to calculate the test statistic t, but let's do it for completion. So t is always the estimate minus the null divided by the standard error. In this case, our estimate for beta 1 is b1, and b1 is given in the table right here. Our null is what's hypothesized under the null hypothesis, that's 0, and the se is given right here. So um, we don't even have to calculate this because that's given right here. That's the t value. So the t test statistic is given right here. So we'll be using the numbers from this row here when we're doing a test on the slope, as opposed to this row. So we have our test statistic and um, our degrees of freedom for the linear regression t-test is n minus 2. So in this case that's 20 minus 2 is 18. Our p-value is again given. This is a two-sided uh, p-value. So both tails, so that's good because we have a two-sided alternate hypothesis. So our p-value is approximately 0. So we can say that our p-value is less than 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis, reject h sub o. If we reject h sub o, this means we have evidence for h sub a. So we have evidence that percent in poverty is a significant linear predictor of murder rate. Part C, calculate a 95% confidence interval for the slope of the regression line and interpret in context of the data. So the general form for a confidence interval for the slope is B1, our estimate, plus or minus, T star, the standard error of that estimate. And this also has N minus 2 degrees of freedom. So B1 is given to us in the table, as is the standard error. We don't have to divide by anything. That is the standard error, so we just plug it in as is. And now we need t star, so we'll need to know the degrees of freedom. In this case, it's 18. And then we can grab a t-table like this. And we want 95% confidence and 18 degrees of freedom. So we find those on the table, 95% confidence and 18 degrees of freedom, and trace those to find a t star of 2.101. And then we can put our uh, answer in interval form, so 1.74 to 3.38. And so let's interpret this. We're 95% confident that, that what? That the true slope lies between these values. So we're 95% confident that the true average increase in y in annual murders per million 
for each additional x, for each additional percent in poverty, lies between 1.74 and 3.38. Because this interval does not contain zero, we have evidence that the slope is not zero, i.e. that the percent in poverty is a significant linear predictor of murder rate. Part D, do your results from the test and the confidence interval agree? Explain. Yes, they agree because in our test, we rejected that beta 1 was 0. We rejected that. And our interval here comes to the same conclusion. We don't think that beta 1 is 0 because that's outside the interval. So both of the test and the confidence interval found evidence that the true slope is not 0. That is, that the percent in poverty is a significant linear predictor of murder rate. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.